Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is talk about hypothesis testing, where we look at finding the critical value for the upper tail in the binomial distribution. And to demonstrate this, I've got this question here. We've got a particular drug which has a 1 in 4 chance of curing a certain disease. A new type of drug is developed to cure the disease. How many people would need to be cured in a sample of 20 if the new drug was deemed to be more successful at curing the disease than the old drug to obtain a significant result at the 5% level? Now, first of all, what we need to do is think about what kind of distribution we're going to be involved with in a question like this. And it has to be the binomial distribution because we've got a finite sample of people, in this case 20. We know that there are two outcomes, that is that the someone will be cured or they'll not be cured. And we've got a constant probability, that is it's P is equal to one quarter. And also I'm assuming that each person sampled is independent of the other person. So what I'm going to do is define a random variable x and that will be let x be the random variable number of people who are cured by the new drug. Where x is distributed binomially we've got n is 20 and the probability of success p. Well, if we assume nothing has changed, then the null hypothesis, H0, well, that's going to be that P equals one quarter. And if that proportion is a quarter, I can think of this, say, on a number line, something like this, going from zero to our sample 20, where we look at how many people are cured by the new drug. Well if it still remains the same, p is equaling a quarter, then I would expect a quarter of 20 generally to be cured. A quarter of 20 is 5. Now there's going to be some variation around 5, so we'll just mark that in something like that. So if I take this kind of upper value here, let's just put a line there and we'll call that r r being our critical value. If I pass this particular value, then I'm going to think that more people are cured. In other words, there's a greater chance of one in four. And so that's going to lead me to my alternative hypothesis, H1. In other words, that proportion P is now greater than a quarter. And I'm going to be testing this at the significance level of 5%. So I'll illustrate that as alpha equaling 5%. Or as a decimal, that's obviously 0.05. So what I've got here then is that this region here, I'm going to accept the null hypothesis HO. And in this region here, I'm going to reject the null hypothesis in favour of the alternative hypothesis. So what we do is we assume then that the null hypothesis is true. So if the null hypothesis is true, what we've got is that X is distributed as a binomial distribution, n is 20, and that probability of success is a quarter. Now I'm going to reject the null hypothesis, we'll just put it down here, if I find that the probability of x, that's the number of people who are cured, is greater than or equal to this critical value r. And the probability of that happening is less than or equal to the significance level of 5%, which as a decimal is 0 0.05. Now in order to work this out, 
what R is. I'm going to be turning to cumulative probability distribution tables for the binomial distribution. And so those tables will always give me the probability of being less than or equal to a given value. So the probability x is greater than or equal to r is exactly the same as working out 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to r minus 1. And that probability has got to be less than or equal to 0 0.05. And so if I rearrange this by subtracting 0 0.05 from both sides and adding this probability to both sides, I therefore end up with 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.95. And this has got to be less than or equal to the probability of x being less than or equal to r minus 1. And let's just turn this round. Let's say that this is exactly the same then as the probability of x being less than or equal to r minus 1 is being greater than or equal to 0 0.95. So what I do now is I just look up in my commutative distribution tables for the binomial distribution. And I've got an extract here where we look up p as being a quarter, or as a decimal 0.25. n is 20, and we've got our observed values, x equaling 0, 1, 2, and so on. And what we're looking for is a value of x that just is greater than or equal to 0.95. And when I look in these tables, I can see the first value that is greater than 0 0.95 is this one here. And that occurs when x equals 8. So following this on, it must mean that from tables, we'll just put here, therefore, from tables, okay, we see that this value of r minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 8 for this to be true. So it follows from this, if we add 1 to both sides, that r must be greater than or equal to 9. So, 9 or more people are required to be cured to obtain significant evidence that the new drug is an improvement on curing the disease. OK, well, I hope this example has given you some idea how we can go about handling this type of problem.